I just got a white and a couple yellows and a couple greens. Dun, dun, dun. everything for the update it might spill over into tomorrow but tomorrow is supposed to be rainy and cloudy so I'm really hoping I can get it all done today yeah I just had a really nice moment after taking the weekend off walking to the studio and feeling so happy to be here and to have this space that I wanted to start crying <laughs> I don't know very emotional lately anyway I brought some <laughs> this is my iced coffee I brought some nice plants from home to shoot the update with today because I have a bunch of four inch pots. Okay, so I just need to get organized and decide what I wanna shoot first. Maybe I'll do these. I posted about them the other day. I don't typically measure for these lids because I don't know, it's kinda of tricky. They're all a little bit slightly different, but luckily these five happen to fit the lids just magically on their own. I hope people like these ones. They're kind of my favorites of this batch. The old behind the scenes. I have everything. Oh, that's my alarm to get ready. But I have everything updated inventory wise now. Um, and then, yeah, I'll take the password off right at 5 p.m. And it's 4.55. We're heading over to get Vax. Vaxed and waxed. Vaxed and then snacks. I'm very lucky. My friend Anella, who runs a plant shop here in Calgary, had three boxes of uh, compostable packing peanuts because today my shipping supplies got delivered and they brought the wrong thing. What can you do? So finally gonna start packing. These are the boxes of packing peanuts. And I got everything set up over here. Tape, blah, blah, blue. I gotta make a bunch of thank you cards. And I'm just gonna use markers and my watercolor paints to do those so I guess that's first and we're starting with local pickup because those are people who are gonna be able to get their pieces first it's gonna be so chaotic because I keep forgetting to film <laughs> um, but basically it's just packing week in the studio this week I had a nice shop update thank you to everybody who snagged something that means the world to me and I wouldn't be able to do this without you so 
that's really awesome and special and I appreciate you. But yeah, we're just packing. I just emergency ordered some more paper tape from Staples because I have had this happen before and so usually I'm very on top of ordering my shipping supplies ahead of time because I know that there are so many like snags you can run into and everybody's waiting for their package and I always feel so bad if it takes a long time for things to get out. It is just a little me packing stuff. I have thought about maybe in the future, maybe once COVID is less COVID-y, um, that I would be able to maybe hire someone just for like a day or two when I am packing orders, but that's just not gonna happen right now. I need to have all the orders out by Thursday because we're actually doing a little photo shoot here in the studio on Friday. And I already asked about filming some of that and I got the A-OK. -okay. I'm essentially modeling some pieces for Meadow Shop, which is a shop in Edmonton here in Alberta. I will link it in the description bar. I think I already told you guys I got vaccinated and I feel pretty normal now. I have three days of migraines and pretty bad body aches. Feeling very fortunate and lucky and privileged still to have gotten the vaccine. Feels like we're one step closer to things getting back to normal. get everything in bags to take to chit chats. I have everything pretty much labeled and ready to go. I always save the hardest ones for last and hardest just meaning that they have multiple pieces in an order. Usually if there's mugs in with planters, like that's a little bit tricky because you really wanna make sure the handles are safe, but I'm gonna pack those up last. But first I'm gonna get all the boxes into the bags, put them in my car so they're ready to go this evening. Yeah, and then I have a bunch of people coming for pickup today, and that's about it. And then all tomorrow morning, I'll just be cleaning the studio. That's the plan. This is what the studio looks like when it is a mess and when I'm packing stuff. Do do. Uh, so he's. So not everywhere has chit chat. So if you're curious about what that is, or if you're in Canada, I believe it's only in Canada. Um, you can watch this part and learn more about it. But essentially Chit Chats is just a uh, shipping service that offers a few little discounts on shipping um, because I think they take your US orders, drive them across the border, and then just get USPS to ship them. So that makes it a little bit cheaper for us. Canadian shipping, um, I'm pretty sure it's like on par with regular Canada Post if you have a small business account with Canada Post. I think it's like the same discount. So yeah, shipping in Canada is actually insanely expensive like to ship within your own country so that kind of sucks but that's okay i love local local customers y'all are great so you get like your dashboard and you put all your shipments in you can have your excel spreadsheet fill in all the weights and everything and then just plop it in and they're all in there and you can like choose the type of postage you want immediately yeah so most of my packages i'll pretty much always ship usps priority mail before I go, I like to batch everything. However many boxes or packages or orders or whatever it can fit into a bag, I'll put those all in the same batch and then I'll print out a sticker that has that batch number on it. So when I take it to Chit Chats, the people who work there can just scan it. They don't have to scan each individual box to enter into the system and it's a lot quicker for everybody. I get the bags actually from Chit Chats. I'll go grab some. But this is like the shipping bag that I use. I think it's just like a 
So I can typically fit about six of the eight by eight by eight boxes, which majority of things. If you only order one piece, it's probably gonna come in an eight by eight by eight box. This is like not even half of it. <laughs> Yay! I'm about to go meet my friend at the park for a little bird watching hike. And it's really nice out. I'm already sweating. Actually, what? Uh, that's yeah. Okay. So I'm guessing Calgary was what you expected then. Yeah. 